today, Michael, we're discussing the use of suspenders to help uh, add some strength to a GL, and we're also talking about using adjustable knee braces with an angled tree. There's two ways of supporting a uh, GL, is either by a, a knee brace, an adjustable knee brace, or by a suspender. Yes, sir. Right. Uh, if you have a tree that's straight up and down, it's, it doesn't matter so much which one you use. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have a tree that leans, then, then there's a preference for, for each one. If the tree leans away from you, your, your, your beam mm -hmm. or, or your attachment, you want to use the adjustable knee brace from down below. This shortens the distance, okay, and makes this straighter up and down. Yes, okay? sir. And so you're supported better, okay? If you put this over here, then you gotta go in way farther. Yep. It's not as strong. We're going past our 45 we're degree. Going, yes. Then with the suspender, it's the opposite. It's almost, it's like more straight up and down. It's pretty much pulling it in sheer. Because it's straight up and down, it's not pulling out very much. It's better for the tree. It's, it's doesn't, there's not as much pull out. This is more straighter up and down and it supports your load better. Now the difference between these two they're both very good for supporting your load up and down, but this doesn't give you any extra support for lateral movement. We've gotten failures from these done this way because um, they kept moving back and forth, back and forth through repetitive uh, bending stress. back and forth, stressed that they've, you know, they've actually broken here. So, um, so you're saying this is for a lower build that is going to be experiencing mostly shear tensions on it. That's right. For a higher build. For a higher build. With more lateral movement. Because here you have, this is all tight in here. So you have the GL that keeps, that helps support your lateral movement there. And then you'll have your GL down here, which will help support lateral movement here. So you don't only get your horizontal loading, but also your your lateral loading 